So what's it been like out here today? It's been, it felt slow, but it has been very steady. And hi, Gwen. When we look at the numbers, the numbers are great. They're more, uh, the number of Democrats who voted this year has been double any of the three previous primaries. And what's that mean for Congressman Chris Van Hollen and his bid to I think Tennessee. it's very good for him because the more, he, this is a, a stronghold for him. People love Chris Van Hollen and the more of these it, uh, numbers. And if, if he has strong numbers, if he's doubling the number of Democrats who turn out, and I'm guessing probably 80, 90 percent are voting for him, I think it's very good for him. What else are people telling you about this race and why they're excited to cast their ballot? Nobody's talking about the presidential, hardly. A few. I'm hearing people are sick of robocalls. I didn't get a single robocall. I don't know what that means. But people who have similar, you know, history, voting history, are telling me they're getting a lot of robocalls. People always complain about that, but the campaigns continue to do it because I guess they think it works. Um, what else? You know, we don't have that real competitive congressional race, so. Um, I, I, and how, how long you been here? When did you get here and when do you leave? I got here at 7 in the morning. I said I'd be here all day for Chris Van Hollen and I took a couple breaks, but I just lived down the street. I ran home, charged my phone and stuff like that. And uh, I'll be here till 8 o'clock. And then what? where do you go tonight? Whose party are you going to? I'll go to Chris's at the Brooks Hill Marriott. I, I, would, I can't tell you, I, was, I would be devastated if he lost. It's been a very tight race, um, but I think he's fought a good race. 